Hello, uh, Sudhakar Physiotherapist here. I hope you guys are doing great. Um, uh, last week, uh, we discussed about uh, the self-treatment for uh, back pain sufferers whose back pain is more severe in their lower back. This week, we are going to discuss about um, self-treatment for leg dominant pain. That means they do have pain in their lower back, uh, but then the pain is more severe on their leg, okay? Um, the pain is more severe below their gluteal fold, okay? Um, let's look into that, okay? So in this case, um, the pain is more severe in their, uh, uh, in their leg, you know? And, but they do have pain in their back, but it's coming from the back, but it's severe in their lower limb, okay? We'll discuss the treatment for it. Um, again, this leg dominant pain, it's classified into four types. We will see treatment for each, but in this video, we are going to see uh, self treatment for leg dominant pain. That is worse with standing and walking and better with sitting or bending over, okay? Um, that's very important. There are like, uh, I have classified leg dominant into four. Number one that we are going to see today is a leg dominant pain that is worse with standing and walking and better. It's the pain is getting better with bending over or uh, sitting, okay? Uh, we will look into the treatment for it. So last week we looked into the back dominant pain. The pain is more severe in their lower back. Um, okay, so the treatment for the leg dominant pain, that's what we are going to see today. Um, as I said, it is worse with standing and walking and getting better with sitting and bending over, okay? Uh, the treatment is very simple. You're going to lie flat on your back like this, and you're going to bend your knee in this position and going to place it on a chair, okay? Uh, and you're going to maintain this position for um, five minutes to begin with. And if you can tolerate, you can increase it to 10 minutes, okay? And you will do it once every two hours, okay? And it should help with your pain more than 80% of the time, that's the case. If it makes your pain worse or doesn't change your pain, then stop it and let your physiotherapist or your medical doctor know about it. Uh, in the following videos that I'm going to make in next week, uh, or the following weeks, um, we will discuss about the other three category of leg dominant pain, okay? Thank you. Hope to see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.